the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody, look, I just want to make sure we continue on and reminding you as Christians to love one another. Now, it probably not a good thing for us to believe that that need to be emphasized, but the reality is it is. We don't, we don't both just love each other when we go into a church service. <laughs> We're supposed to love each other uh, as we go out. And, and be part of society and as the body of Christ, if nothing else, to love one another. And the fact is, we both love our neighbor. That's it, that's it, that's the, the point. Jesus said, and, 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 I, and I show it right here in Matthews, when uh, he gave us the new commandment. Here's the new commandment. It says, therefore, when he was going out, Jesus said, now is the son of man glorified. And God is glorified in him. If God be glorified in him, God should also glorify him in himself. And straightway, God glorified him. Little children, yet a little while I'm with you. You shall seek me, and as I said unto the Jews, Wherever I go, you cannot come. So now I say to you, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. And if you, and if, and ye have love for one another. You know, I want to suggest the, the reason this video, the study is, is there for, is for us to just bring that as a reminder. Because it, it, it does require effort. And also, you also understand, it, it requires the Holy Spirit to help us love one another. You know, so it's, it's, we know that people have done some bad things in life. We know there's some rude people out there. We know it's hard to love people. Um, but we also know there's some good people out there too. And and what we want to do is not be a reflective of, of the world, but reflective of Christ. We're supposed to be the light of the world. If we're the light of the world, then we learn to love one another. And I was talking to somebody today, and I was talking about the fact is uh, politics and all these other things to try to get involved with it. You, you need to understand that uh, we... We're in this world. This is not of this world. But as we interact in this world, we should let the light of Christ shine through us to just show people that we can disagree but still love one another. See, we don't need to be demonizing one another. We don't need to be so, so dogmatic that if somebody doesn't have the same denomination, somebody doesn't have the same political affiliation, somebody doesn't have the same color, uh, somebody doesn't have the same geographical location, it's still a requirement by God to say that we love one another. In the first segment, I'd sit there and talk about uh, the Good Samaritan parable uh, in Luke, in the side of 37, it is it, when he's telling the story. And you know, I told him in the last segment where the lawyer asked, what well, how do I have eternal life? You know? And that's a valid question to ask. Uh, especially if you're not in Christ, right? So it's a valid question to ask is, how do I enter, inherit eternal life? And, and the Bible says that it said, to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind, and all thy strength, and to love thy neighbors as thyself. And you know, when we, we read that story, we talked about the fact is that the, the lawyer saying, who is my neighbor? And then Jesus went over the story. He talked about the Samaritan, talked about the priest, talked about the Levite. 
<laughs> and we know in the story, the priest came by first, walked on the other side of the road, know the man was in need. The Levite took time, looked at the man, and then walked on the other side of the road and kept on going. And then the Samaritan is the one that took time and, and tried to help the man out, dress his wound, took him to some place, and uh, cared for him, paid for the cost of caring for him until he recovered. And said, I'll come back. When I come back, if I owe you more, I'll pay it there. And obviously, the guy obviously is not, is implied in the story that the man, obviously, the innkeeper, trusted that man enough to say, hey, you got it, right? Because apparently that person did uh, leave him there. Now, what, what I want to be able to say is that I think a lot of cases, we don't understand what love is. You think about it. When we say the love your neighbor that self, it really falls into, and I looked up earlier today, the golden rule. Do unto others as you have others do unto you. And 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 that sounds valid in itself. You don't want nobody judging you. You don't want somebody to put you down, right? So especially when we talk about when we talk to people that uh, that don't believe in Christ, they they least I believe accept the golden rule. And it is that I don't want you to do to me that I wouldn't do to myself. I want you to do to me as I do to others. In other words, love that neighbor as that self. People just want to get along. And see, I just want you to understand, maybe you don't, sometimes we don't even know what love is. We, we, I, I want to make sure you understand that in the Bible, there's three types of love. There's the agape love, there's the uh, filial love, and there's the erotical love. Erotical is normally associated with marriages and then the sexual content of women. And then God is the unconditional, agape love is the unconditional love that he gave us. And just like he gave us, we need to learn to give others. But the other one is filial love. That's a brotherly love. And brotherly love is really just treating one another with respect. And that's what I'm just trying to say. As, as a Christian, to say love one another is treat one another with respect. You, the golden rule as a self, is if you was on the left side of the road, left from the dead, wouldn't you want somebody to help you and, 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 and rescue you? Well, that's what, that's what he's pointing out in the Good Samaritan story. Learn to show kindness. And, and before, just before I can wrap this up, I wanted to show uh, in the uh, First Corinthians 13, an example of what what is love, you know. If we get we we need to understand. I think we really do need to find what is love. Uh, if we can get to that point, I think it'll work with us very well. So I'm gonna read First Corinthians 13, and it says, "Though I speak with tongues of men and of angels." And have not charity, which I'm a, that's translated as love. Therefore, when I see charity, I'm going to read love. I become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy, I understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and, and though I have all faith, so that I could move, remove mountains and have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not love, it profits me nothing. Love suffers long, meaning patience, and is kind. Love envies not. Love vaulteth not itself. It is not puffed up. Does not behave itself unseemly. Seek not her own, is not easily provoked. Think is no evil. Rejoices not in equity, but rejoices in the truth. Bears all things, believes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. But whether there be prophecy, they shall fall. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. 
When I was a child, I spake as a child. And I understood as a child, I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put childish things away. For, for now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part. But then shall I know even as also I am known. And now by this faith, hope, love, these three, but the greatest of these is love. And, and that's what I'm just saying. Is take a look at that and get a chance to read in the study about what is the way of love. And, and therefore, show that toward your fellow man. You, you're not ministering to people when you show hate. You're not ministering to people when you sit there and show uh, uh, from unforgiveness. And, and, and if you, you hate the sin, but you but you reveal projecting your hate on the person, then then you you are missing the whole part of the gospel. Our job is to go and preach the gospel. And we're supposed to be ambassadors for Christ. And that means we need to love one another. Learn to forgive one another. And understand, even in Christ when he was on the cross, he sit there and said, our Father forgive them for they know not what they do. Well, that's what we need to do as well. We need to understand there's the importance of forgiveness, the importance of understanding uh, that we're supposed to walk in that light and, 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 and show others the way. John, John 16, uh, uh, what, I think 16, 4, I said Jesus, at, or 14, uh, 16, something like that. And let me see, I'll look it up real quick for you so you won't, uh, <laughs> won't be saying, he don't know, he don't know what you're talking about. I think it's 14, 6. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what it says here uh, in 14.6, it says, Jesus said unto him, and look, I'll put it up here for you. <laughs> Just in case you, you said, but hey, uh -uh, you got to show me. Yeah, I don't blame you. John 14.6, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You know, therefore we need to realize that we need to understand that we walk the way of Christ. That's what Christianity is, Christ-like. And it's Christ-like love. Christ came with grace and mercy. Learn to give that to one another. That's the love he's talking about, being kind to one another. And, 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 and having patience over one another. Okay? You're not, you, you, that's the responsibility of the Christian. So, I just wanted to put that up there and just remind you, we'll continue as we go through some of these uh, little sessions is to understand what love is. Love is really about giving respect toward one another. Follow the golden rule if you don't understand anything else. Do unto others and do others do unto you. That's what we're called to do. That's what we need to emphasize. Where do we deal with politics? We don't be in politics. When others want to lie, we don't lie. When others want to sit there and tear up things, we don't tear up things. We separate ourselves. Don't affiliate ourselves with people that like to indulge in lying and deception and and or, or trying to maintain a, a phony status because you gotta remember the only status that matters is how God looks at you. Amen. So let's we this is session two. We'll pick up uh, uh next time. Uh maybe it's daily, I don't know, but all I know is don't forget to love your neighbor as thyself. And Jesus said, don't forget, as believer to believer, don't forget to love one another. I do it. I, I work on it. I let the Holy Spirit work with me, help me, guide me. And I'm asking you to do the same. Have mercy to one another. You know, I like that one thing before I go is, do you hear this? There's a give and shall be given. The metro press tells you, you get run it over. So men give into your bosom. Well, it's not just money. <laughs> it's talking about if you give love, you'll get love. Huh? If you give mercy, you'll get mercy. If somebody helps, if, if you want to be able to help somebody else in need when you can, so that when you or one of your loved ones are in the same situation, they'll get that help. They'll get that mercy. They'll get that love. They'll get God bringing in men and giving to your wisdom. Amen? Think about it. 
All right, so I'll catch you next time. I hope you just take that, chew on it, and we'll keep on going, amen? All right, God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.